Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm taking kind of a quick peek at the new update, version 3.1 of Topaz Denoise AI. Just got it today and I've played around with it with a few photos and there's a couple of new things in it which are pretty cool. And you know, I wanted to do a video about it because I, I gotta be honest, I feel a little bit bad because I've done a couple of videos about DxO Pure Raw and um, comparing it and how good it is. And you know, it's, it's fantastic. And I feel like I've been accidentally kind of hard on Topaz. Um, I don't really mean to, as I've said in those videos, I like Topaz, they make good products. I'll keep using these products, but I would say that there's a new thing in this new version. that's pretty awesome. It's uh, I, I, I love being a photographer these days. There's so many cool things on one is coming out with their no noise, no noise AI. Um, it's going to be hard to get the names straight to be honest, but anyway, I wanted to give a kind of a first peek, if you will, at this. So I have a little photo here that is a photo of a camera on my desk. There's a new mode in Denoise AI called Severe Noise, and it's for those really severely noisy photos that were shot at incredibly high ISO. I don't shoot at those kind of ISOs normally, so this one, I took a photo at ISO 51,200. I would never do that, but I did today because, hey, we're testing stuff out, and I wanna give you kind of a glance about what this thing does. So let's boot this up and get going. Okay, here we are in Denoise. And as I said, severe noise is a new mode. Uh, they call it a model now, and that's over here on the right-hand side. You got four models, standard, clear, low light, and severe noise. Severe noise is new. I'm definitely gonna demo that. Standard is what used to be just called Denoise AI. It's now standard. Clear used to be called AI Clear. It's just called clear. Low light is low light, and severe noise is the new one. There are also performance improvements. There's Apple M1 support for a Photoshop plugin. And there's a cool uh, improvement to the comparison view, which allows you to come in and compare and choose which mode you wanna compare. So if you're like me, you're like, I don't wanna click on all of the, I'm gonna do it anyway, let me get out of that. But you click on standard, and I gotta be honest, like it doesn't, I mean, it's better, but it doesn't look like amazing. If you compare that to the original, there's the original, there's standard, which was the old Denoise AI. Not bad, but you know, I'm gonna go over to clear, let that generate and see what's happening. And you know, I think it makes an improvement in the photo. And there you go, it's updated. I think that's improved, looks pretty good. Low light comes out pretty good as well. I think that looks pretty nice. I mean, if you compare that to the original, the original is super noisy. Low light looks pretty good, but severe noise is, it's pretty awesome, I gotta admit. I like smoothing things out in my photos anyway, and if I have noise, I like to get rid of it. This, uh, this model, I almost said mode, I'm used to saying mode, but severe noise, I mean, look at that. That looks pretty sweet. I mean, you can come back in and, you know, by the way, there's an auto setting. I was kind of playing with these. You can adjust the amount of noise, enhancing the sharpness. You're kind of familiar with that if you already have this product that you can move things around. But I mean, at the same settings, that's looking pretty sweet in severe noise. There you go. And as you can see, it is performing more rapidly. This is a raw file shot with a 42 megapixel sensor on my uh, full frame Sony camera. So it's not a small file, this is not a JPEG. This is like an 85 meg raw file or something. So pretty beefy file and it's moving pretty quick. But I mean, I think that looks pretty fantastic. So the challenge for me in, in the past has been, you know, comparing these things and wanting to compare them all. So now with this comparison view, now comparison view is there before, but you can change what's in comparison view. So for example, if clear is down here, which it is, and let me back out just a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the camera. I'll just do that for now. Uh, when you make these adjustments, it's going back through and updating all of these, but I've got clear here. I can click on that. You can see that there's a blue outline around where it says clear, which means that's the mode I've uh, currently got selected. So uh, now it's over here to low light because it's making that update, but I'm gonna come, come in here, I'm gonna click clear. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna click and choose standard instead. So it adjusts that automatically. So I can compare the different modes. I've already got severe noise and low light, but I was kinda, of, uh, this is an example. Maybe I was curious what standard was gonna do versus clear. Now I can tell standard didn't really do very much. So with that still highlighted, I'm gonna go back to clear because that was definitely better than standard. It updates as you can see pretty quickly. And now I've got the three uh, modes that I wanted to compare against the original that upper left corner stays original. You cannot adjust that, but I could choose severe noise and change that to, uh, you know, standard, for example. I'm not going to because I like severe noise quite a bit. Let me move this around just so you can see that a little bit better. So you can see it goes back through and, and is updating each of these in turn. 
which is great because these are the ones I want to compare. But if you look at them, I mean, you can see that clear, clear looks pretty good. Um, and I'm probably not zoomed in quite enough. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit more. Let me go to 100. There we go. Let's let this rebuild and take a look at it. Honestly, they all three look pretty good. I see a little bit more like um, maybe it's color noise here, kind of along here. It doesn't seem to be as much in uh, in the severe noise category. But honestly, regardless, let me just um, go back to single view and go back to severe noise. Okay, I'm on severe. That's the one I prefer. Take a look at that. I mean, gosh, it, it just looks so good. And you compare that to the original. There it is before and after. I gotta say this update looks pretty nice to me. I've run a few photos through it, like probably five, and I'm really liking this severe noise um, model. I almost said mode again, but I think it's looking pretty nice. Um, I need to come back and compare it to like DxO Pure Raw, and then of course, when no noise comes out, I wanna take a look at that as well. But um, you know, kudos to Topaz. I think this is a nice update, and this severe nose, nose, severe noise model is, uh, is looking pretty sweet. So that's my quick peek. I'm not making a long video. It's basically doing a great job of taking noise out. And yet I, you know, I shot this pretty wide open as you can tell, but I mean, it's, it's looking really sweet. The noise is gone. It's still sharp where I focused right here along the edge. I think it looks great. So uh, like I said, kudos to Topaz. It's a nice update worth checking out if you haven't yet. And I'll be back soon with more as I continue to examine this in a little bit more depth. Thanks for watching my friends. You guys have a good one. Take care. I'll see you later and adios.